Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another Oblivion video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the order of which you should level up your combat skills in Oblivion. Now, first of all, we need to make a couple things clear. Marksman and Light Armor are not combat skills, they're skill skills, so they're not a part of this. And we're going to put Athletics at the bottom because Athletics is an annoying skill that shouldn't exist. So what do we have left? So 7th place is basically Athletics, just get, get rid of the Athletics. So what we have left is three melee skills, the block skill, the heavy armor skill, and the armor skill. Now, it is my opinion that you should actually, if you are using heavy armor, you should actually level up your heavy armor and armor skill first. Those are the two skills you need to level up first, because heavy armor eventually it doesn't weigh you down if you put it on, and it degrades slower, and all those bonuses. And armor allows you to not only repair enchanted stuff, but... You only have to carry one repair hammer if you're a master of armor, and you don't need to buy any more or find any more. So it's really nice for space and generally just not having to deal with stuff, right? You're just dealing with one repair hammer is so nice. Now after that, it gets kind of weird. You know, you got block and your melee skills. I would say uh, you should only have one melee skill. This is where it gets kind of fishy. Do you level up block first, or do you level up your melee skill first? And... It is my opinion that you actually should level up your melee skill first. And the reason why is because if you're using heavy armor, then you really shouldn't need to worry about block because you're already tanking a bunch of hits. You need to level up your sword or your mace or even your fists first. And then go to block unless you're using a two-hand weapon. Then you really, really honestly don't need block. So if you're using a two-hand weapon, don't even worry about block. Now, if you're doing a different build where you're using light armor, this is where it gets interesting. If you're using light armor, it's not going to weigh you down so much. You don't need to worry about your armorer skill. You actually should max out your light armor skill first because light armor is best done while maxed out. Okay, not only because it ups your armor stat a little bit, but you really move around and it's great, you know? It's great to just move around in light armor and be able to not get it. So after you max out your light armor, then you should level up your block too, because light armor, you can't tank so many hits, and you should be able to block stuff. So you're going to level up light armor and block first, and then your melee skill, and then armor. So the general rule here is that if you're a lightweight character, don't worry about leveling up armor so much. If you're a heavyweight character, get your repair hammers done, get them out of your inventory, okay? Just so you only have to hold one. And then if you're a light armor character, focus on all your defensive skills first. If you're a heavy armor character, just do your armor and focus on combat. It's very simple. The way that I use, like, the method I use to deduct what combat skill I should level up first, because there's going to be unique stuff where maybe you use both armors or more than one melee weapon. This is how I do it. Is you look at how much damage you can take. Okay. If you can take a lot of damage at your current level, level up your combat, level up your damage. If your damage is fine, but you're getting killed, level up your defense. And then if you're holding heavy equipment, level up armorer. So if you are actually a light armored character with a two-handed hammer, I would say level up armorer first because it's heavy AF. Holding hammers gets annoying after a while. And that's my general rule when it comes to leveling up your combat skills in Oblivion. And I, I can't really come up with any charts for this, but just know the more defensive your character is, the more you should focus on leveling up combat first. The more lightweight and combative your character is, the more you should level up your defensive skills. And if your character is fat and heavy, make it so you don't got to carry your repair hammers. Please, because repair hammers are annoying. And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.